White holes, black holes, wormholes. Sounds scary and daunting, don't they? If you're like me, then you've probably watched and loved the blockbuster sci-fi movie Interstellar. Alongside beautiful cinematography and a soundtrack that sends shivers down your spine, the movie came packed with many interesting astrophysical terms that make people go, wow, really? Everyone that has seen Interstellar remembers the iconic scene where Dr. Romilly explains what a wormhole is to the main lead character, Cooper. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. So how much of Dr. Romilly's explanation was accurate, and how much of it was just sci-fi mumbo-jumbo? Let's find out. Before diving into the explanation of what a wormhole is, it's important to mention that we don't have any evidence showing that wormholes actually exist in space. They're just a theoretical concept right now. So what is a wormhole? A hole with worms in it? If only it were that simple. Let's say you're standing in one corner of a room, and you need to walk to the other corner, and it takes 20 steps to do so. Now imagine there's a tunnel that can teleport you to the other corner in just two steps instead of 20. That's essentially what a wormhole is. Think of a wormhole as a passageway, but it isn't your usual run-of-the-mill passageway. This passageway, or tunnel, bends space and time to get you to your destination in far less time, crossing far less distance than it would take you to travel conventionally. Mind boggled? Trust me, I know. In theory, through wormholes, you could travel distances that would normally take millions of years in just a few minutes. If you're a fan of sci-fi or medieval fiction, you could also think of them as portals. To put this in more technical terms, a wormhole, or an Einstein-Rosen bridge as it's called, is basically a shortened path that exists connecting two points on the space-time plane. So, what is the space-time plane? The world we live in is three-dimensional. We can either move forward or backward, left or right, and up or down. Three directions. A space-time plane actually has four dimensions. It also includes time as a dimension that you can travel through. And while this makes zero sense to normies like you and me, this is actually a major concept in theoretical physics, and helps make sense of many equations that people much smarter than us have come up with. The same concept applies to wormholes. While there's no proof they exist, the reason why physicists came up with this theory, and the reason why they factor wormholes into their equations, is that other equations that define the laws of the universe end up making more sense through the addition of wormholes. So, technically, so far, wormholes probably exist somewhere. We just haven't discovered them yet. At least, that's the assumption science goes with these days. Coming back to our original question, yes. Despite the fact that you should take every scientific concept you come across in sci-fi movies with a grain of salt, the explanation Dr. Romilly gave was fairly accurate in terms of the current explanations of wormholes.